together when it's time to do the hypocrisy. So it's also for Horg that it's, it's going to take a while because they're recording the new album in June or something like that. You know? So uh, with, with Immortal. So it's good that it doesn't crash. You know? What can what can we expect from the new album? Is he, he gonna be brutal uh, like the virus was more brutal than uh, the with hypocrisy? Yeah. yeah, I think that the fast songs are gonna be as fast as we can, you know. And then you're gonna have mid mid songs and also the slow songs. So we're just gonna kind of maybe make it a little bit more simpler, but still brutal, you know. Uh, with all brutals mean yeah. very very yeah. brutal. Yeah, exactly. You're also known for producing most of the Scandinavian extreme bands, which means a lot of mystical album. What are your best memories of this period, and the band with whom you had the, the best time? Oh, I had a really good time with actually everybody. You know, there, this you always have a good time when you record and stuff and try to be relaxed because then. The band works much better also, like it's relaxed and uh, I mean it's so many bands that we had a lot of fun so it's hard to say which one was the best, it was always good times. You were close friends with Madag because you yeah. tour with us, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, it's always a, a good time uh, but yeah. there is m maybe uh, bands who are more fun like, I don't know, Dark Funeral, Madag, you have an... Yeah, I mean, you know, um, you become very good friends with the, the bands that you record, you know, and uh, so it's... It's just about having a good time and try to get the best out of it ever. You know? Have you got some memories about this uh, period who are funny or special? Well, it's, when you're speaking about Mario, for example, they always bring like five liter of uh, vodka. The first day we, they come to the studio, we drink, get shit-faced. The next day we're just laying watching TV and just going, oh shit. And then the third day we start working. That's a, uh, it's a ritual. You've left the Abyss Studios under the care of your brother and you, you've you said you only wanted to produce bands you really felt like producing yeah, yeah, yeah. like Celtic Frost three years ago yeah, yeah. how is it like to produce Celtic Frost especially for an album that has been so acclaimed? Yeah, uh, it was a lot of uh, pressure not only on me but also on the, the band also so it was it was a tough job but it was a good time you know and I'm very proud of the album. You know, it's for me. They're like one of my inspirations to uh, to uh, groove music. You know, was it a kind of uh, a dream? Uh, yeah, another some sure. dream or? Yeah. It was really good. Are there still many bands you would like to produce? Any that would be a dream for you, Slayer or Dayside, for example? Yeah, you know, exactly something like that. <laughs> that would be great. If uh, somebody can, okay, you can produce the band of your of your dream. Which I don't know. Maybe Slayer if they will do a good album, but also Rammstein would be nice, you know. But um, I don't know. There's so many bands I would like to do, you know. But you can always sky's the limit, I guess. You know. So you were a little boring of your typical uh, black metal, uh, Swe Swedish black metal sound. So you you, so you stopped for for that region? No, I mean. It was just too many bands coming in all the time in the studio, and uh, it was at the end you just stop. You became a robot, kind of, and uh, I didn't want to do that, you know. So that's really why I had to stop, you know. So I only do a few things. You used to have this black metal project, mm -hmm. The Abyss, mm -hmm. which released two good, a very Swedish black metal album like yeah. Marduk or Extra. Yeah. Is this project over? Yeah, yeah, it was over right when we released the album. We, it was just. Instead of changing hypocrisy into black metal, because we had so many black metal riffs and stuff like that, we didn't know what to do with them, you know, in the band. So we just decided to do it a little bit different, you know, and just do another band for that. There is no chance to see uh, the Abyss uh, reform for a festival, like. No. <laughs> <laughs> <coughs> no, I don't think so. I want to know. This is a, a question, fan, because did you play drum on these two Abyss studio? Yeah. yeah. But if so, your your level is really impressive for a guitarist uh, oh, singer. Well, I'm actually not a guitarist. I'm a drummer. So I, I learned that you you start uh, first on a drum kit yeah, at yeah. nine. It's yeah. true. Yeah, for sure. Thank you very much. For being
Hey, this is Peter from Pain, and you're watching Metal Radio. Just Radio Metal. Oh, Radio Metal. Sorry. Sorry. Hi, this is Peter from Pain, and you're watching uh, Radio Metal. You're hearing, you're, yeah. you're listening yeah, to it. Yeah, you're listening to it. Radio Metal. That's what it was, right? Radio Metal. Radio Metal. Hi, this is Peter from Pain, and you're listening to Radio Metal. <clears throat> Ready? Yeah. You can. Hi, this is Peter from Hypocrisy, and you're listening to Radio Metal. Metal Radio. You, you are. You, you have to. Now it's pain. Sorry. Huh? You have already uh, do uh, hypocrisy. No, I you did. have main pain. First, no, I did pain. First pain. Uh, yeah. Okay, it's uh, perfect. I think so. Yeah, I hope. I thought <laughs> so. <laughs> I don't know. Okay, perfect. Okay. Okay, no problem. Now I'm gonna eat a little bit. Uh,